Hello, I've got a staggering amount of subscribers now. I've got 38, which I'm chuffed a bit, so I can't believe I've got 38 people interested in cab stories. Um, hopefully, we could get enough people, a publisher interested and, and they would turn it into a book to make some money for uh, Lee Rigby's son. Um, so, the first... It's, it's a very short story. It, it, in this lockdown, I worked one day and... I, I, picked up a lady outside Aldgate East and um, she was drunk and uh, she had me running about all over the place. Now we've hit traffic. <laughs> she's, she's not uncomfortable sitting in traffic. She, she's just happy and, and, and dopey. And in the end, she's in my cab so long, she said to me, I've been in your cab so long, driver, I've got Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> so... so <laughs> That was that was making me laugh. I do like customer stories every so often, and um, I picked a couple up. And you have a good rapport with your passengers sometimes. Some of them are horrible, some of them are nice. And um, she says to me, "I'm his second wife. His first first wife gave him his first kidney, and she said, and I gave him his second kidney." She said, he hates drinking tea. But a year after I gave him, gave him a, a kidney, she said, he got up in the morning, he started making a cup of tea. And she said, now he drinks more tea than I do. And she said, um, he's looking out for his third wife now, in case he needs a third kidney. <laughs> so I've got... Um, a story from a grizzled old cab driver who goes by the street name of Large. <laughs> and he's not not big, lumpy bloke, um, but Large. He goes in, I go into a, his, his pret manager where all, him and all his mates have a cup of tea. And Large said to me, when there used to be a left turn into Duke Street off of Oxford Street, he said, the chap on the door of Selfridges put his hands out. He said, I'm on a dodgy angle. He said... <clears throat> He said, just wait there, he said, and, and they're loading this lady, an Arabic lady, she's got loads and loads of bags and everything, and all of a sudden she's got in, but she only got in to put a handbag in. And he said, and she was a bit, she got out, and I was obscured by the, the chap on the door, and they've both gone off to get some more bags. Now, they've closed the door. I thought she was in the cab. He said, and I've driven off. He said, where we got to, she's, got to the end of Duke Street, which is troublesome getting out of sometimes. Um, he said, I looked round and she's not in the cab. He said, so I've, I've had to go round and come back to Duke Street. And the boy on the door's got his hands on his hips, shaking his head. Can't believe it. So I'm amusing myself here. Um, so I've got a story from Joe Still. Joe Still, RM. Um, so Joe said that he dropped off in Wardour Street, round the back of Wardour Street somewhere. So he was making his way back to Shaftesbury Avenue. And he said four chaps have put their hands out and one of them he recognised, this Yuri Geller. So he says to him, hello, Mr Geller. He said, oh, you know who I am. He said, yeah, most most people who know Yuri Geller is. Make sure you don't bend any of my... <laughs> don't bend my new door handles. It's a new cab. So he said, we've been waiting a while for a cab. Um, I can't remember. Um, been waiting a while for a cab. Did you feel the energy I was sending out to get you to come and pick us up? He said, no, I'm in a one-way street. I've got to go that way. <laughs> So, and one of the last ones of all, um, I stopped for a chap at King's Cross and he um, he got in and we was having, it was like an uncomfortable moment where we're looking at each other in the mirror. And I said to him, well, are you going to tell me who you are? Because you look very familiar. He said... Well, I've done a bit of telly. And I said, well, I don't recognise you. He said, um, 
I was in Coronation Street for a little while. <laughs> From that moment on, I could not do, stop doing Mavis Riley impressions. He was Derek. He played Derek Wilton, who was married to Mavis Riley, and I kept going, "Oh, Derek!" And uh, the next day, my, my missus was getting annoyed with me. She was kicking me out of the house to make me go to work because I was still doing Derek. Mavis, Mavis Riley impressions. <laughs>